Hey, guess what? It's my birthday. And since you've all given so much to me, I'm giving a present to one lucky subscriber. A brand new Marvel Legends Iron Spider. More on that later in the video. Welcome to Five Points of Articulation, where I review action figures and then articulate five points to help you decide if you want to add that figure to your collection. The five points I discuss are packaging, presentation, posability, playability, and price. I'm Jason, and if you enjoy my content, please like, share, subscribe, do all the YouTube rigmarole. Today, we're taking a long-awaited look at the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Amazing 60 Years Iron Spider. Starting off with the packaging and, well, here we are. This isn't the first windowless box we've looked at. Heck, it isn't even the first windowless Marvel Legend. So then, how'd they do? First things first, we have a big picture of Iron Spider with an even bigger picture of his head in the background. Kinda looks like one of those awkward 1980s family portraits. Up top is a logo celebrating Spider-Man's 60 amazing years. Render of the Iron Spider on one side, and a picture from the comics on the other. And yet another digital render on the back, along with a picture of the accessories we can expect to be in there. Assuming of course any of it's in there. On that subject, for those who want to buy it in stores, here's the barcode. One thing the new packaging doesn't have is a bio, but it also doesn't have that all-important plastic-free packaging seal of approval. Considering that was the whole point, I'm kind of surprised. And even though I don't normally open it up until the next category, today is probably a good idea. And this looks terrifying. Pretty much looks like a wrapped up corpse. I guess that's appropriate since this is the death of inbox collecting. But the important thing, He's in there. On the one hand, I don't want to have to give every Marvel Legend half a point from here on out, but I also can't pretend I like it either. I have no idea how I'm going to be approaching this in the future, but this time, for packaging, I'm giving the Iron Spider half a point. Moving on to presentation, Iron Spider stands at six and a quarter inches. I've been waiting years for Hasbro to do this, and I am not disappointed. Mostly not disappointed. The first thing you'll notice is that he's been cast in a marbleized plastic. In general, that doesn't bother me, but none of the the pieces really match. His head is a very bright warm red, his torso is a dark cooler red, his arms are almost kind of pinkish, and the legs are barely metallic at all. It's not a deal breaker, but I do get why a lot of people don't like this. Zooming on in and you'll notice a little bit of extra gold around the eye. I cannot stress enough that you only really notice if you zoom in and look for it, but I'd also be remiss if I didn't circle on back to the packaging. I personally prefer to buy things in stores where I can see them for myself, and between the paint job and the mismatch reds, that's exactly why. I'm not saying the quality control is going to go down, I am saying it's going to be a lot harder on those of us who are a bit choosy. Moving on down though, and the spider logo has been perfectly painted. It's also nicely sculpted and raised from the body. Flipping him around and he's just as surprised as you are. Traveling down the arm and we have these nice gold cuffs, and we see them again around the ankle. Flipping him around and there's not much more back there. One last thing to talk about are the proportions. Although he's not built on the same body as Retro Spidey, they do cut the same silhouette, and although he is a new mold, it is obvious he was based on Sunfire. That said, it's always possible that the arms and legs are built on that new pinless Renew Your Vow Spidey, but until I'm able to do that review, I'm unfortunately not going to be able to know for sure. Good thing I happen to have it. Minor blemishes aside, this is a stunning figure that more than lives up to everything I'd hoped it would be. For presentation, I'm giving Iron Spider one whole point. Moving on to posability, and this is mostly what you'd expect, but does still have a nice surprise or two. For on the top, in spite of these heads and a ball joint and a disc hinge, he can look up this far, which is perfect, and all the way down. No real tilt, unfortunately, but all the way around. Clickety swivel hinge shoulders raise up 90 degrees, forward and back with a butterfly joint, bicep swivel, pinless double jointed elbows, and swivel hinge wrists. Because of this pointy bit, you have to turn them to the side to be able to hinge them up, but down is no trouble. Shift in the torso, and I'm happy to report that Iron Spider has an ab crunch and a waist swivel. For lines like this, a diaphragm would really break it up. You can arch back this far, and hunch forward this far. And of course, the waist swivels side to side. Below the waist, and Spider-Man has ball jointed hips. They can do a pretty impressive high kick, and split this far. Traveling down the leg and he has thigh cut, very tight, pinless, double jointed knees, a boot cut wonderfully hidden by this cuff, and Marvel Legends ankles that can hinge and pivot. It's worth noting that Iron Spider does have some other articulation, but that's a conversation for the next category. For posability, I'm giving Iron Spider 
whole point. Before we continue, if you want to give me some for my birthday, give this video a big old thumbs up so that more people see it. Moving on to playability, and in addition to these fists, he also comes with whip hands. Unfortunately, he doesn't come with wall crawling hands. If you want to try the Scarlet Spider's hands, they're unfortunately a different style of peg and sadly do not fit. But that's not his main accessory. Hey! Where's Waldo's? Oh, there they are! For the life of me, I'll never understand why Marvel only gave him three instead of four, but Hasbro's done a pretty good job. In addition to a swivel hinge at the base, each Waldo comes with two additional hinges. One here, and one here. Sadly, none in the middle. Even so, the range is just fine for me. That said, if you were hoping to be able to suspend him from the ground with them, you might need to readjust your expectations. One thing that surprised me is that the pegs are the exact same as the hands, so if you wanted to, you could do this, or this. But playability is more than just snap on arms and body horror. It's also about how well your figure plays with others. First up, and here we have the original Iron Spider. The mustard yellow is definitely a bit ugh, and the Waldos are a bit small, but that nice even metallic red paint is pretty sweet. First, some classic Spidey, and here he is with a couple from Toy Biz, and the Marvel Legends retro card. For a couple of alternate Spider Man looks, and here he is betwixt a couple of Ben's Riley, the Scarlet Spider, and Spider Man 2019. For a different kind of Spider-Man armor, and here we have the Game Reverse Velocity suit. And for a different kind of Spider-Man altogether, here we have Miles Morales. On that note, here he is with Spider-Gwen. But for a Spider-Man with no costume at all, here he is with Peter Parker. That came out different than I meant it. Anyway, for those of you who are wondering what he looks like with a regular Peter Parker head, here you go. This is the one from Spider-Man International. Veering off to some villains, and for a couple of goblins of the green variety, and here we have two from Toy Biz. For a Hasbro one, and here we have Retro Card. For dueling mechanical arms, and here we have Dr. Octopus. Here we have the Lizard. This one's from the Fearsome Foes box set by Toy Biz. Here we have the Retro Card Sandman. Retro Card Electro. Not Retro Card, but soon to be re-released a retro card with a more classic color scheme scorpion. Also not retro card Mysterio. For those who don't know, I put some pillow stuffing in the helmet to give it a more ethereal look. Here we have Craven the Hunter. He's missing his loincloth, but I got him cheap at a toy show, so I don't care. Here we have Absolute Carnage from the Venom Pool Wave. And on the subject of symbiotes, here he is with Venom. This one's from Marvel Select, but we're going to have plenty of Marvel Legends versions to look at soon. For another big baddie, and here we have the retro card Rhino. And my favorite, the one from Marvel Select. Here he is, caught between a couple of the most important women in his life. This, of course, is the Black Cat and Mary Jane. And in true Civil War fashion, here he is caught between Captain America and Iron Man. Cap is the 80 years version, and Iron Man is the movie version Mark III. In case your nightmares haven't been properly fueled, here he is with Pennywise the Clown. For a relative scale comparison, here he is with Pizza Spidey and the Spectacular Spider-Man. And as always, here's Stealth Iron Man, and this time wrapped up in Iron Spider's Eldridge Embrace. I'd be a liar if I said I wasn't feeling the lack of wall crawling hands, but this figure still is a lot of fun. For playability, I'm giving Iron Spider one whole point. This leaves us with nothing left to discuss but the price. I got Iron Spider a Target for $32, and let's just say my feelings are kinda mixed. For some perspective, that's about the same I paid for Ragnarok, and well, there was a lot more in that box. Granted, this is pretty much a new sculpt, and Ragnarok was a lot of reuse. On the other hand, the Waldos are just three copies of the same accessory, so that had to save a few bucks. And with prices having already gone up considerably, it all feels like a bit too much. For price? I'm giving Iron Spider half a point for a grand total of 4 out of 5. If you want a shot at winning him, just be a subscriber, comment below that you want him, and have a mailing address in the continental United States. This video is not sponsored by anybody, and there's no purchase necessary. Deadline to enter is 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday, September 16th, 2022. For more Spider content, check out this Ben Riley Versus, or this look at the new Across the Spider-Verse basic assortment. Now that we're seeing them in hand, how has your view of the windowless boxes changed? Sound off in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back again real soon, but until then, play nice and have fun.